The pages that we view online really kind of fall into two categories. So in the old days of the web, GET requests typically retrieved documents that existed on the server. The, get, the format of the GET request was, you know, GET request and then there was a name, a path, that would actually lead you to a document that was stored somewhere on that server. So if you had access to that server, you could find that document. On the modern web, a lot of what happens is those paths are interpreted by a program that runs on the server. And so there's probably no document sitting there that corresponds to that path. And this is the difference between static uh, pages and dynamic server-side rendering. So let's look at an example of this. Um, here's the web page for my research group. Uh, the home page is blue.csc.buffalo.edu. And uh, here's a uh, nice, if somewhat dated, picture of my group. And there's some information about what we do and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, this site is a static site. This is, you know, there's the information on this site doesn't change that often. And so we don't have any code that's running on the web server that's actually doing things on every request. Instead, like the old web, there is a file on the website that you can find that contains exactly this content. And to prove that to you, I'll show you the file. So this is uh, this is on our um, this is on the the server that runs our group website. And in this particular directory, there is a file called index.html. Now uh, remember that when you uh, look for slash, typically what you're getting is index.html. These are the same document. Uh, that's set up something that you configure when you configure the web server. And, and here's index.html. So this is the actual content that's being loaded. If I click on, uh, well, if I click on view source, it's gonna look, look a little bit different, but this is the actual source of the page. So the title is Blue with Systems Research Group. Uh, you can see that up here in the, in the title bar. Um, there, uh, the, this navigation, these navigation links, let's see where, where those are. Um, they're right here. Uh, this list of links, people, projects, papers, teaching, funding, uh, that corresponds to these up here. They look different because there's CSS that comes along with the file that formats it, but this is the HTML source. Um, down here, we design, build, and evaluate novel computer systems. That uh, sentence is right here. And so when you request this page, you're getting exactly this document. That is exactly what is happening. There is no computation that the, that the web server is doing. It's simply going to the right directory, finding the right document, and sending it back to you, and then it's rendered by the web server. And in many ways, if you can get away with this, this is a very nice way to build websites because there's very little load on the server. All it has to do is pick up that page and send it back to the client. However, in a lot of cases today, there is a lot of work that's being done on a web server in order to render a page. And probably the best example of this is search. So if I go to google.com, I can search for you know, all sorts of different things. I can type anything into this bar, anything I want to. And Google is supposed to return a result. So how do you think they do that? Do you think they have billions of web pages sitting around just waiting for you to find them, waiting for you to type this exact uh, string of random words? I mean, I can literally search for anything, anything. Of course not. Of course they don't have all these web pages just sitting there. They don't have a static web page that they're gonna turn you. I can just type, oh, what just happened there? Huh? Let's see, oh yeah, I, I searched for something fun. Uh, let me just type random nonsense into this, right? So I could type, you know, you know uh, it's doing instant, right? Um, so I'm going to search for this random string. And Google returned a document. It didn't return me a 404 error or something like that. Uh, it says your search for this random string of, of characters didn't, didn't work. Um, so what's happening here? Well, what's happening is that there aren't static documents that are sitting there. So for example, Google doesn't have a static document about cats that's sitting there waiting for me to find it. There's no search, you know, there's no a document there. You can actually see that the parameters are, are part of the get request. So that's a little bit of a hint that there's actually work being done on the server. Um, but every time you do a search on Google, what's happening is that there's work being done in Google's data centers to compile this page on the fly. 
Um, now, in certain cases, when I'm looking for things like CAD videos, maybe they have a cached version of this page because this is a very popular search. But in most cases, the way search works is that there's a program that Google maintains that takes the search terms if you've entered and contacts a bunch of different machines, tries to find lots of different important information on the web, ranks these things against each other, and produces the output uh, in your web browser. So two different, fun, you know, two fundamentally different styles of rendering on the web server. In one case, grab a file, return it to the client. In the other case, run a program, the output of which is the page that is seen by the client.